it's taking too long or it's, or you you want it to happen tomorrow, but it's just not happening at the speed you want it to, to happen. Press one if you dealing with that right now. You want things to manifest quicker than it is, man. It's, it's taking too long. You don't know if God is really with you. I want y'all to hear from the minister as he teach and talk about this. The Bible says that Allah will send forth his word and it shall not come back to him void. But it shall accomplish everything that he has said it would. It will accomplish it. In spite of what you do or I do or we do, God is the doer. And if you don't do your job, he's on his job. That's right. Yes, sir. None of us have the power to make God a liar. There is no word that he spoke that can be said to be false because he has the power to make every word that he spoke truth. But when God speaks, he speaks words that give us a picture of what he intends. Mm. Although the picture is a vision, the messenger of Allah said that vision is real. Yes, sir. It has to come to pass. But in between Allah's articulation of the word through the mouth of his servants, the prophets and messengers, and the manifestation of that word in the establishment of truth and the reality of what the word made us to see was coming, there is the test of the believers and their faith in that word that they can stand on it with surety even yes. though they haven't seen it come to pass yes. that they know it will be. Mm. Yes, sir. Test. The believer is a very special person. The believer is the beloved of God. Because to... I want to stop right here real quick. I want to interject. You know, it says that the belief... He's saying that the believer is the beloved of God. And then I read also in the Quran where it talks about you do the duty. You deliver the message that Allah will protect you from the enemies. And that alone, and this is how I'm interpreting this. Y'all may see this another way. How I see that is, man, my, my main objective is just to make sure that I don't give a damn what nobody think. You keep your hand in his hand and just try to remain a believer. Because if you, if the believer, he ain't no respect of persons. If the believer is the beloved of God and the believer is going to be the winner in the end. I ain't got time to be trying to figure out all it, what everybody intentions. I don't know none of that. I'm not the supreme being to even, I shouldn't even waste my time trying to figure out everything. But if I remain and stay focused on me being a believer, then I know that they going to be backing me. And no matter what, is happening what I'm going through I'm going to come out of it on top because I remain the believer but when I get outside of that become a disbeliever or my actions say disbeliever now I should be fearing now I should you know be looking over my shoulder because that protection now is removed man it just makes it so simple to the fact that okay I just got to remain the believer what is a believer remain on his duty and then I ain't got nothing else to worry about because the God got the rest. That's just how I'm interpreted. I may be off, but that just brings peace to me, man. I don't know what's, I don't know what's, what's going to happen. What, but I, Hey, I know behind the scene when nobody else was looking, I stood on this and man, that just, it just bring peace to the mind. Believe in that which has not yet materialized. 
sometimes causes others who disbelieve to call the believers fools. But uh, the Quran says they are the fools, but they perceive not. While they mock the believers, they are in reality blinding themselves to that word which if they allowed it to enter their ear, it would stimulate the brain to see and the heart to believe and the hands to work and the feet to walk in the path and they would ultimately walk right into the reality of that word. Mm. 